If you are tired of the daily corporate grind and yearn for the freedom to work from anywhere, I've got some insider tips to help you kickstart your online practice while you are still in your nine to five job. Trust me, I've been there and I know the journey can be both exciting and nerve wracking. But fear not, because I'm here to share some practical strategies to get your practice off the ground and flying all while you are keeping your corporate job. So the first tip for today is to leverage your network. You might not realize it, but your corporate job has connected you to a gold mine of potential clients and collaborators. Start by tapping into your existing professional network. Attend industry events, webinars and conferences and mingle with fellow accountants and bookkeepers. Slide into LinkedIn messages, strike up conversations and share your aspirations. By building relationships now, you will have a solid foundation when you are ready to fully launch your online practice. Just to give you some context, one of my first clients came from LinkedIn connections and networking events and they have been my most valuable clients since the very beginning. These connections are very meaningful and can, and can stay with you for a very long time. Another tip for today is to become the content king or queen. Believe it or not, you are sitting on a wealth of knowledge that others crave. You can start a blog, create insightful videos or launch a podcast that speaks directly to your future clients. Share your expertise, experiences, tips and challenges you've overcome. Valuable content not only establishes your authority in the field, but also makes potential clients more likely to remember you. I started my practice during the outbursts of, out, outburst of the pandemic. This was a very challenging time, but on the other hand, it gave me the opportunity to establish my presence online. I shared my expertise on social media, just giving useful tips to small businesses. Another way is to offer free webinars or work workshops. Use your corporate job to your advantage by organizing free webinars or workshops on relevant accounting or bookkeeping topics. This is a fantastic way to showcase your expertise while also helping fellow professionals upskill. Plus, it's a subtle way to introduce yourself and your upcoming virtual practice without the hard sell. And remember, providing value builds trust and trust leads to clients. I ran my free webinars during lockdown times, just helping small business owners deal with everyday problems. These webinars were very popular and brought me my first clients. Another tip to promote yourself is to start a newsletter. Compile a regular newsletter that delivers bite-sized nuggets of wisdom, industry insights and updates on your journey from corporate to remote entrepreneur. Encourage your colleagues and industry peers to sign up. As your newsletters, newsletter gains traction, it becomes a direct line of communication to an audience interested in your journey and your services. Another tip is to use social media, the secret promoter. You don't have to shout your intentions from the corporate rooftop. Social media can be your secret promoter. You don't have to post content under your personal account to avoid being, becoming obvious to your employer. You can create separate business accounts and at the same time start promoting your brand and creating awareness. Share snippets of your day, the challenges you face and the wins you achieve. This provides an authentic window into your journey, attracting potential clients who resonate with your story. Platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram are the perfect uh, platforms for this kind of engagement. My preference is LinkedIn because it still works well in terms of organic reach. But you need to think about where your potential clients hang out and make sure that you are active on this platform. And another tip is to offer limited consulting sessions. Consider providing a limited number of 
free or low-cost consulting sessions to your network. This lets you demonstrate your skills and build your reputation as some who genuinely cares about helping others. Word of mouth recommendations are a potent marketing tool, and these sessions can lead to more clients down the road. When I first started, I offered free 30 minutes advisory sessions to entrepreneurs who were planning to start their businesses. I also created an extensive free guide to support them even more, and they found it really valuable. And the last tip for today is about crafting a killer elevator pitch. You know how you can summarize your corporate job in a few sentences. Now it's time to perfect a similar pitch for your online practice. Be concise, compelling, and crystal clear about what you offer and who you are targeting. This pitch should be so engaging that it piques interest even during casual conversations. And remember, success takes time. Don't let the corporate routine overshadow your dreams of running a thriving virtual practice. Every small step you take now will contribute to the momentum you will build once you are ready to make the leap. Embrace your journey, stay authentic, and keep the vision of your location-independent practice alive in your heart. Your freedom awaits. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.